Rice Farms. Today we are at an expert's uh, farm where we are planting dragon fruits. We got some dragon fruits from Grace Farm and started a small section to um, plant. We made some poles. You see that is cow dung um, manure. We've made the poles already and there are 75 poles. No. Yes. And so now we're doing about to start planting. The process of planting dragon fruit, as we've seen on our previous videos, we have to we apply the mix the cow dung manure with soil and then we'll plant the fruit. So after making the hip. Yeah. So this is Mr. Dewitt. Dewitt. How are you? Yeah, good, good. So I'm going to be mm -hmm. the second dragon fruit for grower. Yes. And we are coincidentally in the same area. Mm -hmm. So this is uh, the start of a long journey. That's right. That's right. So these are curtains, uh, rooted curtains that we bought got from um, Grace Farms to plant here. You see them in the back. So now we're in the process of um, doing the planting of the dragon fruit. First, we make the heaps. We flatten it a little bit, and then we put the cow dung. See, yeah. Now he's doing the heaps. First, we after putting the the post we dig around it to soften the soil and create a heap such that uh, we plant the dragon fruit so that's the process We'll apply water after planting to make uh, the roots adapt to the new environment. When you plant, when you plant, you put the flat side to face the pole. The flat side. Yes, the flat. Oh, yes, the flat side. Yes. You see there. When you look triangle. at it, it's a, it's a triangle, but there's one side of the triangle that is flat. But should it have a distance, or should it be like? It, that distance is okay. Oh, yes, so about five, ten centimeters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hole, That's it. it. You don't. You don't need. You don't. It, only the roots should be underneath. Okay. okay? Make sure because you don't want um, once you apply water mm. and, and the cow dung sucks the water, it creates that moisture mm. for it to rot. Yes, we don't want. Yes, we don't want that to happen. Position it. Wait, let me show you again. Oh, should be flat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the flat section. Yes. Okay. Mm. Good job. 
job. Yes, that's that's how it's supposed to. Turn it around. The roots are facing up. Oh! So we are done planting and we've planted 51 posts. Here they mix the cow dung with, with um, soil and, to, and then they plant the dragon fruit. So yeah, that's rooted cutting and he's about to plant. Uh, and four kittens per post. We have one white dragon fruit there at the top. The rest is all Moroccan red. Yes, most Moroccan red. And then here is the Ecuador Polora. It's yellow outside and white inside. Yes, that's a variety. And we had uh, five kittens for that. One post is this one here it's all the yellow one as you can see this is the yellow one yes all of this is yellow so we have mixed here one yellow. there's one yellow on this one and this is just for propagating yeah this was the one that i picked up from the mm -hmm. ground Yeah, yeah. yeah, we have been here. It's really it's great for goats. Mm -hmm. Maybe from down there, we came all like this. Are you walk from up there, all the way down here? Yeah. Beautiful. The bamboo is huge. Okay, bamboo. Bamboo, this is under the protection of the king of England. Okay, King Charles was king here. Charles was here. Yeah. That's what it's here. Oh, I see. So you cannot harvest them. Them, you can touch them, mm -hmm. them, and then them. Okay. It's good. It's good, yes. It's a gift, good shape. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool though. Yeah. So and many degrees cooler. Mm -hmm. So there's grass there you can it's graze. Lots of grass. Mm -hmm. and, you know, used for animal feed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's actually part of the land, but you're not allowed to build permanent structures. Structures. But non permanent structure, you can build up to here. Uh, okay. Right. I think uh, we are done for today. Today is uh, what the 13th. Today is the 13th. 13th of October. Of, of October. Mm -hmm. So in two weeks we will come to get an update to see how they are doing. Okay. In two weeks. In two weeks we do a follow up. Of, end of October. Yes, we come to do a follow up. Yeah, on the plants to see if there's any rods or any adopted and uh, how to guide them on their post. Yeah, like this one. Yes. 
think that's what we do. Okay. Yes, we are for enough. Today at the farm, we check the dragon fruit, check the soil, moisture level, and we the moisture level is good. What we did was we cut up extra growth, and those that are ready to transplant, such as this one, we cut them off to plant become new seeds for the dragon fruit. Um, that's what we have some of them here, so we just put them on here like that for the roots to come up and then we'll propagate to another post. We have some, I mean, about five here, some two, this one, uh, this one here, some over here. And we planted this, uh, the last pole over there. There's still one more pole over there that needs to be planted. We also noticed uh, this was a flower that was supposed to, this was supposed to be a flower bed because of uh, it's too small. I can't think of a flower. We're making sure that we have just uh, one that's going up like this. Yeah. And so we cut off anything that was uh, that's a new, new one. So this one is doing well. All of them are actually doing well. And we try to remove this uh, banana. The coconut, I think that needs to be removed. We've seen a couple of them that needs to be removed. Here we need to plant more. I just planted this one. Yeah, this one needs to we need to plant some here. Mm, so went line by line to actually see like something like this. I had to put ground, more soil underneath. Uh, this is still more that once the roots come out, we can propagate. Yeah, that's another banana here that needs to be taken out. Another one is over there. And, uh, yes, uh, there's a couple of them here. There's a lot we, we, that needs to be propagated. That we cut off for the roots to come out and we propagate to as new shoots or new seeds. I think they are about about 18. Those the other ones that are over there. So we have actually gone round, do some pruning. A lot of pruning has been done on all of these. So yeah, no rats so far. We didn't see any any rats. Like them getting rat rat at the bottom. No, we didn't see any of that. We noticed a lot of new shoots coming out, showing that they are all doing good. See like what you see here. And um, next is just to guide them to the post, like what we see right here. Make sure they are going towards the, the post. This is good. We cut some of them out. You see, by the side, we have some that are, that we cut and ready to propagate. Yeah, this needs to be tied. Yeah, you just need to guide them to the post now. So far, we've seen all everything good. <clears throat> yeah, everything is good. Even the yellow ones, the yellow dragon fruit. Yeah, we had to trim them, prune them to get them ready as well. Yes, thank you.